On track, there's potential to bring train services back to the Louisville area. WDRB's Darby Bean details the plans Amtrak envisions. Heavy traffic on the interstate. Scheduling commutes to avoid rush hour. There could eventually be another option for travel to and from the Louisville area. Anyone who drives I-65 from Louisville and Indianapolis or up from Cincinnati to Indianapolis to Chicago has to know there's got to be a better way. Amtrak is proposing a service to connect Louisville, Indianapolis, and Chicago. A total trip just under six hours with four round trips daily. There's also a proposed service for Jeffersonville and Columbus, Indiana. What we're proposing here is driving time competitive service. Greater Louisville, Inc. says this additional form of transportation between cities could be an asset for the regional economy. With Amtrak specifically, we're very excited about their plans to expand into Greater Louisville because it gives Louisvillians access to other neighboring cities, but also gives people from other cities opportunities to come to Louisville. But a timeline on putting wheels in motion isn't set. Plans are still contingent on when states engage with Amtrak and what happens next with the federal infrastructure bill. The Senate bill should it pass the House largely in the form it came over from the Senate, will create programs that will make it easier for the states and lower the cost to the states of starting up these kinds of services. This wouldn't be the first time Amtrak has run through this area. Louisville, the greater metropolitan area, is really going to benefit from the Kentucky Cardinal. Amtrak says the short-lived Kentucky Cardinal did not attract enough riders due to its schedule and was discontinued in early 2003 after first operating in December 1999. But into the future comes change. This is not the same kind of service we ran to Louisville back in the day. This is meant to be more frequent and also meant to be a shorter travel time than what was done before. Pricing for Amtrak tickets depends on the area, but a spokesperson told us the cost tends to be cheaper than airline tickets depending on the class of service. Darby Bean, WDRB News.